when we talk about cholesterol, statin drugs are very popular. There's many other prescriptions that are becoming more and more popular. You probably see patients that are on multiple prescriptions. What's the potential danger in that to, as we age to add another one and then another one and then another one and then one to take care of a symptom from another one? Yeah. You know, to be on so many. What's the danger in that I think term? it's very dangerous. I mean, I think they, you know, we call it polypharmacy and that's exactly what happens is that you get a couple medications for your clinical presentation and then all of a sudden side effect or so pops up and then you're all of a sudden like a whack-a-mole game, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, pushing here and punching there and this goes up and this goes up. And a lot of times, sometimes increased dosages or you know different routes mm -hmm. or what have you. And I think it's really um, because I think it's really dangerous because what happens is we can't affect a cure. We can't. They become obstacles to cure. I think. I think sometimes medications. And look, I'm the daughter of two pharmacists. You know, my dad mm -hmm. climbed the corporate ladder of a large pharmaceutical company my entire life, and. Um, I think that there's a place for everything I do. And I think some of these agents, when used appropriately, that they're just fine, but it's the long-term use. There's, when there's no exit strategy, when there's no changing or understanding obstacles to cure, they actually become obstacles to cure. Mm -hmm. Well, in a lot of those medications, people assume they're gonna have to be on the rest of their life. What have you seen in, in your experience where people can re at least reduce the amount of medication or the m amount of medications that that they're on. Oh, when people put their mind to it, I mean, the body is completely amazing and resilient. And I have seen people come off of medications, not just reduced dosages, but from any really category. If you're talking about cardiovascular meds, car uh, cholesterol meds, um, antidepressants are a big one, pain medications, the purple pill and the, uh, the proton pump inhibitors, we've got tools, you know, to heal our bodies. We do. We just need to know a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You touched on something else I wanted to talk about before we go. Um, the, the heartburn, indigestion meds. The commercials are on every two minutes, it seems Direct like. Direct to consumer. I, exactly. And those people are happy. They can eat anything they want if right. they take their purple pill. How damaging is that? To the to the brain there, I mean, you know. Just check that out. I mean, I think it's brilliant marketing. I sure. do because it's almost like I'm not going to feel pain. I then there, you know, when I, I ate this cheeseburger before and I felt pain. If I take this, I don't feel pain. Mm -hmm. Well, you also though are setting yourself up. Have the cheeseburger, but make sure that you're ready for the osteopenia, osteoporosis, for the gallbladder disease, and your gallbladder, you know, eventually mm -hmm. being taken out. Um, because that's what's going to happen. If you look at the side effect profile of those agents, we need our stomach acid yeah. to absorb trace minerals. We need our stomach acid to break down uh, proteins and help us digest. And if we just stop it uh, from a pain perspective, pain is the body's, hey, there's something going on. So we get curious before we get our prescription pad out. Mm -hmm.